It is very easy. Good afternoon, Madam Chair, Woman, Representatives. House Bill 1531 is against sound public policy. Passage of this bill would impact a number of laws. Uh, one of the laws that it would impact would be the enforcement of drug crimes. And I have prosecuted drug cases for many years, and people always say it's a victimless crime. And I would say, tell me how it's a victimless crime. Look at the number of homicides that we've had in this state, the number of burglaries, the number of robberies, and the number of assaults. And sadly to say that there are a lot of times a drug or an alcohol component to it. Another crime is conspiracy. And that crime is an agreement in an overt act. So if I conspired with someone to commit a murder, we drove to the individual's house and found that they weren't home, well, I guess we'd get a free pass on that one because the person wasn't home. What you would want to dissuade was the agreement in the overt act to commit the murder. It would also eliminate a lot of the corrupt practices. So if you had individuals who were in political office who <coughs> bribed somebody, well, where's really the victim there? I would say that every citizen in this state is a victim of that. The same thing for improper influence somebody testifying at a trial that gets up and raises their right hand and swears to tell the truth and nothing but the truth and then commits perjury. The question would be, where is the victim there? Unsworn falsification, lying to a police officer. Again, the same question would be, where is the victim? If somebody escapes from a prison, as we saw recently, and there was a manhunt, well, who's the victim there? Again, each and every one of the citizens that you represent is the victim. And for those reasons, ladies and gentlemen, to pass this bill is unsound public policy and it harms every individual that you've sworn to uphold and protect and represent. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Thank you.